you? I'm just sitting here. Oh, oh, who's this? Oh, this is Torrance. Torrance the rabbit, say hi. And my name's Sarah. What's your name? I'm sorry, can you say it louder? That is such an interesting name. Ah, oh, I love that. It really suits you. I think that really is a good name for you. Of course, you can call a person by something other than their name, like Torrance, for example. Sometimes I call him Blinky because sometimes he gets really sleepy. He starts to blink his eyes. Sometimes I call him Blinky and sometimes I'll just call him Sweetheart or Honey Pie or Sugar. Well, Torrance is here today to join us for story time. Do you know what the theme of our story time is? Today, we're thinking about sunshine. I look out the window and I can see it is a sunny day. And I've worn this shirt for you because this for me is yellow and sunny like the sunshine. And the book we're gonna read today is called Sunny. It's by Celia Crampion. You see the picture, it might be backwards for you. It's a girl, and her umbrella, and a seagull. And of course, this yellow sunshiny color to match my shirt, of course. Let's begin. <gasps> this doesn't look like sunshine. This looks a little rainy to me. Sunny. Most people do not like rainy days. You can see it's rainy outside, but we've got this little bit of sunshine in here, a little bit of reminder of the sun with these sunflowers. Most people would say there is nothing good about trudging to school on a rainy day while the wind crawls up your sleeves and puddles soak your boots making your footsteps squish and squash. I hate that feeling. That's what most people would say. I don't know, do, do these people look happy to you? They don't look very happy to me. But not Sunny. Sunny thought this day was the perfect day to use her big yellow umbrella. And it was. So even though it's raining, she thought, well, what's good about the rain? And she remembered she has this huge umbrella. Look how big that is. And it's bright yellow. And so she's going to use that. She's going to take advantage of this rainy day. Until a big gust of wind came along. Oh, no. Oh, she's getting carried away. That is powerful wind. Now... Most people would say that being pulled through the air by an umbrella was a bad sort of situation. But not Sunny, who felt like a bird soaring high above the little town below. Can you see? There's her town. There's the school, some houses, a lighthouse, and there she is soaring like a bird, just like this seagull. But soon... The town was replaced by a stormy sea. It's getting a little scary. We're over by that lighthouse now. Now, most people would agree that being blown out to sea was an awful, terrible sort of situation. But not Sunny, who liked watching the white-capped waves rolling and tumbling over one another. Right? So you can see the waves are white at the top. That's what they mean, white-capped waves. And she likes to watch that motion. Have you ever watched waves? Or even ripples in a pond? Or maybe a river? It's really fun to watch water move and hear the sounds it makes. <gasps> then the sea started getting a little too close. Down. Down. Down she fell. <gasps> but look. Oh, she'll be okay. There's this boat. Okay, so she's going to be okay. Now, being trapped in a small boat and adrift on a stormy sea is what most people 
would call a horrible, dreadful, and ghastly sort of situation. But not Sunny, who thought she preferred boating just now to swimming. I think so too. Look how wild the sea is. I'd rather be in a boat than in the water. Would you? Yeah, at least in the boat she's got. She's got her umbrella stone. She's got her bird buddy. That's when a big wave came. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. It's a huge wave. That's so scary. <gasps> oh, I don't think her umbrella is going to be enough for that. Now, most people would say that things were looking exceedingly bleak. Here, it carried her up to the rock. Being stuck on a rock in a boat surrounded by a stormy sea was probably as bad as things could get. But not Sunny, who thought things weren't that bad because at least she wasn't alone. Right? She's still got her bird pal. The bird's there with her, so, you know, the situation's bad, but she still has people that she can, you know, share her thoughts with, maybe sing a song with. Birds love to sing. <gasps> but then she was, uh, the bird, he left. I, I, I don't know why he would do that. Now, most people would probably cry at this point. Would you cry? I, I would definitely cry. I would cry so hard. And this time, that's exactly what Sunny did. And that's okay, you know? Sometimes things are really bad and all you can do is cry. And that helps you feel better. Don't you usually feel better after a good cry? I do. Cry it out. Maybe sometimes I cry and I fall asleep while I'm crying. And then I wake up and I feel better. So Sunny's crying. But then... Oh, her bird friend's coming back. And he's bringing so many friends. Oh my gosh, so many bird friends. Up, up, up she rose. She was lifted off the rock over a less stormy sea over the little town. Look at them. They're helping her. <gasps> Carrying her to safety and she's leading the way. She's pointing. She's showing them this is the way to go. And set her down just where she needed to be. Where do you think he set her down? At home? At the playground? At school. Now, most people would say that being late for school was a bad kind of situation. But not Sunny. Look, she's still, still very positive. She thought that this one time her teacher would understand. And there's her bird friend still hanging out. And look, we can see that our stormy skies have turned to blue skies. So that's sunny. What do we think we learned? Let's see what Torrance thinks. Torrance, now, what did we learn from this story? Look, he's very shy, so he, he kind of whispers. Hold on, let me just... Okay, okay, Torrance says that he learned that... It's good to keep a positive attitude. Even when things are bad, we can look for what is good. And we'll, oh, sorry, one, one sec. Oh, okay, but also, it's okay to be upset sometimes, and it's okay to cry, you know? Sometimes things are bad, and that hurts. And when you feel that hurt, and your body tells you, I have to get this out of me, you can get that out by crying, some people like to scream into a pillow. They take a pillow and they go, ah, into it. Some people like to go for a walk. Oh, when I am angry, I love to go for an angry walk and just get all of that anger out. Some people like to do something creative, draw something, make something. What do you do, Torrance? What do you do when you're feeling bad? Oh, Torrance says when he feels bad, he likes to hide, hide behind his ears. 
He says that's a safe place for him. And then when he feels better, he comes back out, just like the sun. So I hope you enjoyed our story time today. It was so nice to have you. Torrance and I are so happy that you joined us, and we hope that you'll join us again in the future. Bye, friends. <laughs>